Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And look, they're completely changing the affiliations for the better or for the worse. They have taken out something in the builder that you have not noticed. We're gonna go over that. And I'm body bagging Mike Wayne, showing him. And you negative 1% casuals that speed boosting is real. <laughs> Etc. But before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Help me hit 277k.4. We are like 30 subscribers away. Make sure you hit that goddamn like button. It helps young swan grow. Now look, a dev tweeted out. A gameplay dev. We have another face. Another mic. Could this mean something? We got two mics so far, okay? Could be something going on with that. Do your research. He said, have seen some folks ask about body type since they're no longer in the builder. You can now upgrade and progress your body type in the Gatorade gym. Okay? I don't know how I feel about it. This could be cool. It could be lit. Okay? There's a total of three unique body types per build slash player. And you can freely switch between them in the appearance menu. Oh, so you can switch your body type in the appearance menu. You can upgrade and progress your body. This seems, it seems like it be, could be cool. Now look, I'm a football player, middle linebacker my whole life. You already know them archetypes of people, right? That probably explains a lot about how I am to y'all right there. Probably everything probably makes sense now, but I would love my basketball player to be swole, like a football player. Even if he's a point guard, I don't care. You feel me? I want a swole point guard. I always made burly on my guards and my locks, everything. You know, I hope I want swoleness. I don't just want to be this. I don't want to be fluffy and swole. I want to. Now, look, all city clipped this about a 2K Illuminati dev speaking about this in one of his videos. One thing I will say, though, as you see, body shape is not an option. OK, wait, so wait, you don't wait, have wait, an wait, option wait, 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 to wait. do body shapes. So that's something to keep in mind. But I think. Thing. All right, that you're able to wait, change wait, your body wait, shapes, wait, 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 wait. potentially going to the Gatorade facility maybe, and <laughs> being able to do it like that. So I think that's pretty dope. Like the more you work out, <laughs> you probably will be able to um, bulk up whatever. Uh -huh. I don't know. Like I, I'm just throwing it out there because I'm thinking. I'm you know how you be saying, I don't know. I be telling y'all. Y'all, bro, y'all was on me for years when I was trying to tell y'all, but y'all just thought I was just capping. I'm trying to figure out like, why is it not in there? But I'm thinking that's probably what it's going to be because I know Let's that's see. something that you know, been talked about for the longest. Okay, one thing. Now look, another 2K Illuminati dev is they're now gonna switch the affiliation boost. Now look, walk with me. We don't truly know if Elite has the way better boost. Like all comp players are gonna be going to Elite, all tryhards, right? We know that because it boosts shooting and defense and we know that's the most important. But, People don't also realize that this rise also has shooting. It says get rewarded for your hot hand from the perimeter after knocking down some outside shots and even hotter hand results. We don't know if this is on the level of this or, or this. We don't know. So we like we can't tell because they're not giving us enough information. They're not telling us if this affects our rating, if it's just like a skill boost. They're not telling us if it they're not telling us if these boosts help unlock certain animations. If y'all y'all don't remember in 2K17, I think in 16, probably not 16. 2K17, you could only make like a 6-7 in sunset that could speed boost, right? It was something like that. I, I don't know directly. But it was something like that. We don't know. This is big because if you leave your affiliation, you lose your like overall rep for the game. So this is big, especially for a lot of tryhards that's gonna go for legend. But um, this, see, look, they did the boost wrong. If this is how it looks, to put shooting and defense on one side is kind of dumb. To then just put finishing and playmaking, because you don't even need those, bro. Like. You don't really need those, but who knows the like boost? Like, like for instance, when you go to your skill boost, you want to boost your steals and boost your shooting, and you know that makes a difference. But boosting your finishing and playmaking, it's like, uh, even if it do help a little bit, it's nothing that you truly actually need. But that steal changes the game. 
that that three point that shot that changes the game the scape of the game the finishing and playmaking it's not as pr predictable and it don't really it don't change as much but it all depends but definitely uh pairing playmaking with defense or playmaking with shooting would make it more balanced and uh yeah y'all can already tell like what i'm saying but having i don't th this is what i mean like who did they have like make this like who who are they speaking to because like any coherent like real real 2k player they could have told you like how the community would have like accepted this right but maybe they did this on purpose or maybe these boosts are very underrated and they're just gonna be very game changing you know and then they had like they did it to where like this is sunset beach and then it's like you know most people want to do the sunset beach but then you you know they got the better boost over here tight you know so i don't know y'all let me know how y'all feel about it and how how they could possibly balance it they need to tell us this the game finna come out they're changing everything before this release this is crazy bro i ain't gonna hold you but who knows who, who knows to be honest bro but this definitely changes how you would want to make your builds too if they're like somewhat significant i'm really glad that they added this back it's really a w bro you know a lot of y'all think i'm just some hater of 2k bro i want 2k to do amazing <laughs> like bro i make thousands of dollars off this are y'all crazy i'm literally just telling you how i feel about it i'm not one of these creators who are just double twisting because they know that's what consumers of 2k want to hear and you get better results double twisting not telling how you feel don't y'all want genuine reactions and creators someone that's telling you how they actually feel and not just lying and just sitting on the fence with everything y'all don't want real people anymore it's so weird man y'all yeah i tweet out to mike wayne this is how negative win percent sim nation wants us to move why he speed boosts faster than what i seen in nba 2k24 look this is more evidence that speed boosting exists Y'all can't tell me after that 2K24 gameplay that it don't look like we are on this speed. This dude is 70-something, and he, this is immaculate. The fact that he's 70-something playing like this, all props to you, it look clean. But on a video game, we're using an athlete that is 0.00001% of the population. Been hooping. We should not be looking like this. This is what y'all negative 1% people be wanting. We should be way faster than this. Look. Hey, Mike Wang, I'll be body bagging you on the Twitter. Y'all need to join my Twitter. Y'all that think like me, help me. Because creators aren't going to help me, bro. They're too busy double twisting the uh, community. Look. Mr. Riley has been working with me since May. Look. You, you, you see how slow that is? But look, you see how he just bursted? That's a speed boost. Quick first step. It's an explosion. Look. You can't tell me a change. Look, they want us to move slow and then move like that. He's speed boosting. Y'all are saying this isn't real. This is literally speed boosting. I have won another debate. None of you will debate me live. None of you. I have won another debate. Has been working with me since May. But y'all negative win percents. And look, you can evolve, bro. I'm a casual too. I don't play it very much, bro. Just because y'all see me as a creator and all that. And I'm like amazing. And I got like a 96 plus win percent every year. That doesn't mean I play a lot. I play as much as you. I'm just way better. And I'm on a different side. You can be like that. Believe in yourself. Stop making excuses. Look. Look at this. Here in this session, he speed boosted. Change of pace and direction concepts. Look at this. Speed boosting. And of course, some step through and pivot. But this is how y'all want us to play. Y'all want us to move this slow. Keep playing the game of basketball. Gotcha. 70 years <laughs> Look. He said it's oh, y'all be like, well, move like that's okay, but it has to be slow. If it's slow, what's the point? Genuine love for the game <laughs> and the basketball Look at this. This is how y'all want us to play. He's gotten better and better. <laughs> hey, he cold. He wants to gain the correct he cold. And information to gain any oh, advantage he can oh, against his peers. Oh, He's a true <laughs> Simnation. Simnation. Help him continue to grow his basketball mind Simnation. and his skill set. <laughs> He's a living example of consistency. That's how y'all want us to play. Now look, I got more to body bag y'all. And by the way, they brought back no squad wreck. Big W. Big W. We've been talking about it for years. Big W, Swan, I did it. I had a couple tweets that had over a million 
asking for no squad wreck big swan been talking here is more proof that people can dribble immaculate in real life this is pro play how are how is something unrealistic in pro play did y'all not hear how they promoted it that's literally impossible but look here's another example of someone dribbling the ball when i speak i'm speaking for a park perspective i don't care about your little wreck in pro-am and all. you don't even play pro-am you're scared but either way, these people can do that in real life, but they're playing higher comp, so they don't do that. Y'all have to understand you're not higher comp. You're horrible. It's not even y'all. Y'all need to accept the truth. Imagine Kyrie Irving playing versus a middle schooler. That's the level being displayed between a comp player and a casual. That's the big difference, bro. Seriously. That's why those dribble moves happen, because when you see them play comp players, they don't dribble or play like that. They can only do it to bums. You see, y'all don't get that. You don't accept that. But look, look, look at them dribbling. Look at this. Look at this. You do you see this? But if you just see it, some normal clip, someone doing that on 2K, you'll be crying. I'm bodying. I'm bot. I've won again. No one will debate me live. I've won again. Stop nerfing the game and hiding under realism. You do not even like real life like that. You just suck at the game. Get better. Watch people like me. I literally teach you how to get better. I'm a casual, literally, but I am better than everyone. I can teach you, bro. I can teach you, bro. You don't have to be a part of the, the majority, the weak ones. <laughs> Look at this. I'm finna body you again. Look what they just patched that crossover that push cross they just patched that hoe right i'm gonna show you someone doing it in real life okay now imagine someone that really honed it and really did it at it like an nba level there was that look at this look did, did you see that did you see that <laughs> did you see that <laughs> did y'all see that You feel me? But y'all see that on 2K? You cry. You cry. It's going to get to the point to where we playing like this. For the contact. Look, no dribbling. No dribbling. No dribbling. Real ball movement. This is how y'all want us to play? Come on, man. Have some pride. They saying the Russell Westbrook cross is gone. Listen. Uh, yeah, Westbrook out the game. He told us earlier in the space. Yeah, uh, yeah, Westbrook out the game completely. So that's, that's that is a bonus. That is a huge W. The Westbrook moving cross through people. A lot of y'all probably don't know that, but all moving crosses on next gen could dribble through everyone and it was hard to rip them and you could literally just teleport through someone you know real broken mechanic that i don't like it's not real ball i don't like it lowers the skill gap dramatically it's not cool they didn't patch it all year and on current gen this is why i was telling y'all 23 like 23 old gen is the only 2k that was better than the new gen version the 22 new gen was better than 22 old gen and 22 21 new gen was better than 21 old gen simply because there's more defense on those games than you know the the old gen version but on 23 there was more defense on old gen and then you got you had way more perimeter defense and you could not move and cross through someone this is what i was telling y'all and you couldn't fade as much the fades were instant, always make on new gen. On old gen, it wasn't. And I was trying to tell y'all, but y'all just know what, listen, I'm just, the gameplay was better, bro. And look, Double H tweeted this out, game chat with both teams for the rec center. What? I I, I commented under that hoe. I guess I guess I don't, I guess, I guess I ain't got enough juice. He ain't responding. I. I even made a tweet, LD, we, we gotta get this confirmation. Y'all that might be against it, stop. This be the problem with a lot of people. Y'all don't try to look from other perspectives. There might be a reason I'm saying what I'm saying and you just don't understand. Listen, if 
it's annoying, you could just mute everyone. You could just mute the other side, right? You, you got to understand, first off, this is realistic. You can hear the other team in real life when you're playing real ball. Y'all don't want real ball? Come on, bro. Now, look, another thing is it makes it more interactive, more energy, more fun, just like it's the real essence of basketball. And when you look at things called tens, you know, them old all-star team-up days, like when you hear like everyone in the party and they're all versus each other, it's the most entertaining thing. When you watch my gameplay, it's more entertaining than everyone's gameplay because you hear usually um, both teams going back and forth and everyone's talking to their teammates. It's complete chaos and it's funny. Like, it's entertaining. We're supposed to have fun. Yeah, a lot of y'all take it too serious, but having it to where it's that interactive will make your experience way more fun. And if you're just soft or whatever, you could just mute everybody. It's an option, right? You could dunk on someone and be like, get up, you know, like, lame, like, you know, like drop forward on them, like, da, 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 da. you know, you'd be like, oh yeah, you, you left right, you left right. Oh, you need screens, you need screens. Oh, you can't shoot. You know, you get in people's head, like make it funny. Like I've been asking for this for a while, but um, yeah, try to push 2K to do this and push them to improve their mic quality too. Because people sound way better on Call of Duty and other games in 2K. I don't know what it is. Hey, y'all go watch my stream reacting to the rec gameplay and everybody's builds who dropped a build on NBA 2K24, man. They said it was amazing. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome.